guys, welcome back to another create a sim video. Today I wanted to create a sim that was inspired by my recent trip to American Samoa. So I kind of wanted to create a, I guess, island girl create a sim. I don't know what else to call it. But yeah, I mean, it's the summer and I saw like this create a sim room on Tumblr. And yeah, I just wanted to create a create a sim video for this kind of aesthetic. And I saw this top on Tumblr as well, and it's super cute. And I thought it like perfectly matched the vibe. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with her. I named her Andrea Leota. And her traits are loves the outdoors because the outdoors is really nice on the islands made her family oriented and outgoing because I feel like at American Samoa the people there are like it's like a little community kind of thing so it was just really nice to see everyone like interacting and I just thought like that trait worked well as well as the outgoing trait and I made her aspiration to be a gardener I was going to make it fishing because there's such like a large fishing kind of like i don't know if you'd say district but yeah but i don't know i i, I wasn't really feeling it so i just made her want to be a gardener because i was going for like the whole like floral thing i was like okay that makes sense right this is her everyday wear wrapping up and i just put on some light makeup on mm -hmm. her i put some blush and some slight eyeliner i think since she's like a warm toned, I used gold accessories on her. I felt like that matched her very well. Her color scheme is kind of like, it's not like too exact, but I went for mostly purples or pinks and green because I felt like that was really nice on her skin tone, especially the green. As for all of her outfits, I try to make sure that it's something that people would actually wear in this climate and i didn't want it to be too fancy because people don't really dress like that there or here um so i just wanted to be like casual girl you know this dress was kind of too fancy for me and i felt like it didn't really match her vibe so i think after i went to like download some more custom content after because it was just not working for me and i gave her some more accessories for this outfit some fancier accessories i guess like a bracelet and like a pearl necklace i changed it to this dress by um at least simple i felt like it was still fancy but not like too much or like too mature if that makes sense yeah and i really like the swatches on here it was like a subtle purple and yeah it still felt like somebody who was young would still wear so that's what i was trying to go for next is her athletic wear and i don't know if you saw that but she had like no bottom body for a second that's because i forgot to download a mesh for something but yeah um I gave her this just casual uh, athletic wear with like these biker shorts. I felt like this was like super cute and like simple, like minimalistic. Yeah, I thought it was perfect. Um, the top is from Chilique and the bottoms are from Solistair. I didn't make it the same color because I feel like people do people buy sets of things? I feel like no. So I just give her like black pants because I feel like everybody would have black shorts but like a, a colorful top. This top came with like different patches that you can use. I just put the llama symbol because it's the sims. This is her pajama wear or her pajamas. This set is super cute. It's by Emmy Bouquet. Um, it's like, I think it's inspired off of like Victoria's Secret or something. So for her party wear, I didn't want her to wear anything too revealing. 
but i still wanted her to show a little bit of skin because it is party wear so i gave her like this super cute cutout dress from trilike again you'll see it come up soon but i thought it was perfect because it has like this hibiscus pattern on it in this green as you can see and it's super pretty it doesn't it look really good on her skin tone gave her some more nails of course accessories things like that put a little bit more makeup on her for this outfit because it is party wear and this video is like a little bit laggy i honestly can never figure out the settings for obs like i don't really know what i'm doing when it comes to like computer stuff because sometimes it looks good when i'm recording and sometimes it like lags like crazy so i'm like what the heck but yeah, um, I think I should be getting a new PC soon. Don't quote me on that, but I'm really excited about it. And yeah, I guess you guys see the difference soon. And by soon, I mean like next month because I'm waiting for a sale. But yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, this is just a quick swimwear outfit. I was thinking about putting sunglasses on her, but it was kind of glitching with the skin detail for her eyelashes. So I decided not to. Now we're onto the hot weather, which I put on like these super cute overalls. They're a recolor from Island Living, but they were made base game compatible, which I honestly don't know how that works. I feel like that doesn't sound right because I'm like, how can I have an object that I don't have the pack for, if that makes sense? I don't know how that works, but I think that's amazing. Thank you to the creator for that. Um, their name is Pink PXLS, as in, I think, Pink Pixels. So, yeah. I put her hair up because it is long. Um, I did realize at the end that her normal hair isn't long. I thought it was long for some reason uh, because of the thumbnail on the item, but I realized it's like a bob. So at the end, I changed all of her hair to be super long. And finally, for the cold weather outfit, I decided to do something, again, casual. I just wanted to, to wear like a long sleeve and jeans because I figured anything more than that would be way too many layers. Me personally, anytime it is cold, I just wear like a long sleeve. I, 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 it's never more than that here. Um, or like in other tropical climates um, like Hawaii. So yeah, and I chose a top with like a cute beach print on it. And yeah, that is it. I just added some likes. And after that, I decided to create a dog because in American Samoa, there were so many stray dogs. I literally, I don't think I've ever seen a stray dog here in Oahu, but in American Samoa, they were literally everywhere. Like every house, every store had one. I was really surprised. So yeah, I wanted to create a dog. And where I was staying, there is like this stray dog that we take care of. And I just wanted to create, recreate him in The Sims. Um, I'm not sure what kind of breed he is, but I tried to find like the closest looking match to it yeah it was really fun i don't create pets that often so yeah it was nice to do and another thing the dogs there are all like huge dogs i i don't know where they're all coming from but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and the screenshots at the end i really enjoyed making her and the dog and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye